Do you want to write better YouTube titles? Jake Thomas from Creator Hooks has discovered that really 99% of YouTube titles kind of suck. And in this video, he's going to be sharing 10 quick tips to help you write better titles so you can get more views and grow your channel faster. Here we go. You got to just press record. What's up, Think Media Podcast crew? Sean Cannell here. I'm at Social Media Marketing World, and I ran into Jake Thomas, who stood out because he's wearing YouTube shorts. And so as you can see here, what a conversation starter with the YouTube logos on the short shorts. Um, but um, it was cool to run into Jake because recently Nolan Moult on the Think Media team actually made a video based off of some of his content that he teaches on Twitter um, about really powering up our videos. But I wanna hone in on titles in this one. And uh, Jake, the first one is challenging assumptions. What does that mean and how could we do a title that does that? Yeah, so challenging assumptions, uh you want to go the opposite of what people think. So that's going to make people stop in their tracks. And it's also going to make them have to click to figure out what they're talking about. So this example is stop chasing money, chase wealth. So, all right, you know, I'm trying to chase money. I'm trying to work hard. Uh, but if someone tells me stop doing that, that doesn't make sense with what I already know. It's kind of counterintuitive, counter narrative. So it stops you in your tracks and it makes you click to figure out. And these become templates that you can use as well, Think Media Podcast, stop chasing money, like stop chasing X, stop doing X, which should be, it could be polarizing in your industry. It's challenging, like you said, assumptions, great. Number two, ride the wave. The example is 20 Halloween candies you should never eat. What does ride the wave mean? Yeah, so ride the wave is just like talking about what's going on now. Uh, trend jacking is another one, news jacking, um, just talking about timeliness. So in this example, uh, this was published right before Halloween. So you're talking about Halloween candies you should never eat. Uh, everybody's thinking about Halloween candies. So just talk about that right now, and that's how you go viral. This video got 162,000 views. I think that the, most of the videos on that channel got like 5,000 views. Uh, so this did like 20 times better. Um, so yeah, riding the wave of what is everybody talking about and thinking about right now. That's great. And I think that uh, we have an episode that you should definitely check out. Of course, we'll have Jake and other show notes on the podcast um, on tent poles. Right, and tent poles would be Google Trends, the spike around, in this case, Halloween, or it could be Christmas, or it could be back to school, or it could be things like that. And so super, super powerful. Number three is move away from pain. I love this example. This biblical principle helped me escape the rat race. Escape and arrivals in there. What does uh, move away from pain mean? Yeah, so I mean, you know, you could say like, you know, how to do something, how to live your dream life, but if moving away from pain is a little bit better, like rat race, like that kind of, that kind of uh, makes me feel a lot of emotion there. I've got a lot of like kind of anger and like bitterness to the rat race. So if you say how to escape the rat race, then that's going to just help you like, you know, that, that makes me, it gets me fired up. Yeah, and the creator who understands the viewer best wins. So it's not just where where does your audience uh, want to go, what are their ambitions, but also what do they want to escape from, hence move away from pain. And this biblical principle helped me escape the rat race. Number four is open a loop. Explain this one. Yeah, so opening a loop is just starting a story but not finishing it. It's like creating a curiosity gap. That's kind of another way to word this. Um, and when you, when you start a story, everybody's kind of, they have like an itch to close that loop. They have an itch to close that curiosity gap. So they have to click to do that. Um, so this example, why this was one of the most terrifying scenes in film history. Um, all right, what is, what is that film? Uh, so I got to click to see. Um, you, know, you might say like, you know, the truth about social media marketing world. That opens a loop. That starts a story. You're like, oh my gosh, like I got to figure that out. What's like, what's going on there? I love that. And I heard actually Jay Shetty speak at Traffic and Conversion a few years back about his favorite title formula and video format for his channel, which was if your ex watch this, hmm. like if you're um, lonely uh, watch this. If your boyfriend broke up with you, watch this. Yep. If you, and so there's something about, uh, this example, why this was one of the fav most terrifying scenes. What though? And so it's a great title formula of actually not answering what the video is about in the title, but opening a loop. So I have to click. So I have to see what is happening on the other side. Number five, personal accomplishment. Yeah. So that's just like a, kind of like a flex, um, you know, like People are living vicariously through you. Um, so this one was how I changed my body a lot in six months. Um, 
that kind of lets me know, all right, this person did what I want to do, so now I'm going to click and try to, or, and try to figure out what they did. Um, you know, it's all about just like showing, you're kind of uh, showing that you have authority. Like, you know, I did this, and it just kind of, uh, you, you assume that they're going to tell me what to do, so I want to kind of live, I want to do what they did, um, so I've got to click there. Yeah, and one of the things that this one really ties into is the thumbnail, and one of our favorite thumbnail formats is like at least two panels which is like the before and after. So personal accomplishment, what, where, where are people, which is maybe where a lot of the viewers are and where do they wanna go? Omar has a great one that did very well, which was like how to fix bad lighting. And so the first image, he actually has kind of a frown on his face. The camera's all orange or the lighting's all orange and it's a horrible shot. And the second one, white balance is perfect, lighting's perfect and he has a smile. So he also, it's that transformation. I'm unhappy that my lighting sucks, and now I'm happy that my lighting is great, and I think that video is either about white balance or how to fix your camera settings, and in this case, um, you can actually see four panels, so transformation, which a lot of, a lot of us on our YouTube channels are helping ourselves two years ago. Yeah, exactly. Who, who am I for? Myself two years ago or where I was two years ago. And so what is some transformation you, you're probably still in the process, but what is some transformation you've experienced, which finally also kind of encourages to take journeys, uh, take pictures along the way. Yeah, yeah. You know, I wish I had more photos for my social media of the early days of working in a cramped office. I do have this one. It's like all messy around me. And, and now we have a lot of photos, but I wanna encourage you, you might be early on in your YouTube journey, really cherish this and document this, because what people can relate to is the struggle. They can relate to, you might say, well, I'm not accomplished yet. Well, you're in the process of building that, but you definitely want that before photo, so you can ultimately have that after photo. And so that's a really, really powerful tip. Number six, refute an objection. Yeah, so uh, you know, if I wanna do something, uh, if, if I want to hit, you know, a, a thousand subscribers on YouTube, there's probably something that's holding me back, right? Like, uh, you know, maybe it's, um, I don't want to be on camera. You know, if you say how to hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube well, without having your face on camera, like then I have no excuse to not watch that. So just think about, you know, I think you mentioned earlier, like knowing whoever knows your audience best wins, yeah. you know, what are their deepest like objections to that are stopping them from uh, achieving their goals? And then uh, just kind of hit that in the title, take away their excuse to, uh, you know, to not watch and also just empower them. Yeah, and this is another great example. The example is how to grow your bo booty faster <laughs> without, how to achieve X without pain, in this case, without strength training. And it also is a two panel example, where you are and the ultimate result that you want to get. What's to me in the photo looks more like a posture adjustment <laughs> and probably some Photoshop, which a lot of thumbnails, I mean, sometimes you maybe want to exaggerate an extreme point because you're after the click, but uh, that's a really powerful one. Number seven is authority. And the example is how US military linguists learn languages fast. Explain authority. Yeah, so authority, there are two parts of authority. There's one, um, this one, how US military linguists uh, learn languages fast. This is like a, a position. So, uh, you know, military linguists, um, they're learning something good. You might say doctors, you know, uh, how doctors lose weight, um, how doctors beat cancer. Um, that position holds a lot of authority. Um, there's a lot of proof there. Um, all right, you know, if, if doctors or if military linguists is doing this, are doing this, you know, then I can have faith. Like, all right, this probably works. Um, the other way is like a specific person to use authority. Mm. Um, so you might say, uh, you know, how Elon Musk started his first company, yep. right? Uh, so, or, you know, how Sean Cannell got his first 1,000 YouTube subscribers. Like, you know, that would be huge because, all right, you're at 2 million now. Sure. Uh, you have authority. Uh, that works for you. There's also, um, you know, if we're going to go like drama, um, I read in a, uh, it was a book. I can't remember. I think it was um, Joe Sugarman's uh, Advertising Week. Um, but it was, we want to be like uh, celebrities, we want to think we're better than them or we believe them. So if you're like, if you're talking about drama, um, you know, oh, I'm better than the Kim Kardashians or something, right? Sure. Like we want to feel like we're better than them. So that's a couple ways uh, using, you know, a specific person or a position. Yeah. And if you, you don't have to actually be a doctor, you might be just reporting on a report, a study, and thus it gives you a really powerful headline. And then you sort an authority reference yeah, exactly. to really back that up. So um, think about, of course, how you can incorporate authority into your content, Think Media Podcast, in your next video. Number eight is expose the truth. And the example here is from our friend Sonny's video that is titled The Ugly Truth 
of entrepreneurship you don't want to hear or don't want to see? Yeah. So, yeah. So exposing the truth, there's a lot of controversy in there. You know, I feel like I'm getting in on a secret. Yeah. Um, and it's like, Oh, like, Oh, I, I got to click this. Like I got to figure it out. You know, like when we're kids, like, you know, if someone's like, Oh, I got a secret. You're in kindergarten. Like, yeah, everybody's going to listen to it. Or like, even if you're hanging out with people and then like some, like two people start whispering, everybody like automatically like looks to those people. So this is like a way of like whispering on Twitter or on, on YouTube is exposing the truth about something. And it's really good. The ugly truth about your niche. What is the ugly truth? about the photography business? What is the ugly truth about filing your taxes, the, uh, you know, or whatever. Uh, number nine, hit the extremes. This is a big one on YouTube. Explain it. Yeah. Yeah. So extremes, um, you know, you're fighting for attention, uh, with so many other videos and just kind of average videos or average topics aren't going to work out. So you want to do something extreme. Um, this is inside the smallest apartment in, uh, in New York City. Um, so you have the smallest. You can do inside the most expensive apartment in New York City. Uh, I think it was Tasty. Uh, I made a 30-pound Kit Kat. So, you know, that's mm -hmm. extreme. You know, that's mm -hmm. 30 times more or like 60 times more than a regular Kit Kat. Um, so just being extreme. And an easy way to do that is to label something as the ist. Smallest, weirdest, biggest. Um, you could also do most expensive. Um, just kind of average content or average topics aren't going to work. So you really need to take it to the extreme. You know, pair that with a powerful thumbnail and you actually see kind of the template of some of the most viewed YouTube videos, yeah. the kind of the most viral entertainment content, yeah. clickable content. All right. Number 10, make it weird and explain this one. Yeah. So um, people like curiosity is one of the most powerful emotions on YouTube uh, and making it weird is one of like the best ways to uh, invoke, evoke curiosity. Um, just there's something about weird and strange things. Um, I don't know, like this is how Zach Greinke uh, became the weirdest player in sports. Um, like we just talked about extreme, like weirdest. Um, you could also do like, you know, strange things that something does that are mm -hmm. normal. Um, just, just the word weird works really well. Sure. Like I, I think about this, you know, we live in Las Vegas and a friend of mine, Jesse, uh, is in the concrete business and he comes to the concrete conference every year. First of all, I didn't know there was a concrete Con -con? conference. Yes. <laughs> yes. And second of all, I didn't know that like, what are you talking about? Like, is there that many innovations? But all that to say, if someone's actually in the niche, you are always fascinated about the weirdest whatever in your niche. Of course you are, yeah. because your niche becomes so common and average and boring. So if it's, even if it would be like the weirdest innovation in concrete, I gotta know what yeah, that is. There's so much curiosity there. There's so much and, and just weirdest. And of course that might take some research, some creativity. Where, what would you say to this? We're not ultimately trying to clickbait. No, definitely not. Because clickbait would ins insinuate deception, but if it's it's or miss being misleading, but the ultimate goal would be to have positive clickbait, which would be to get people to click, but actually really deliver on the promise in the title. Exactly. Yeah, that's the difference. Is if you deliver or you don't, um, and that's kind of like why you need to come up with the title and topic first, uh, so that you can actually deliver. If you think about what's going to make people click, like all right, you know the weirdest you know, the weirdest player in sports or, you know, the weirdest um, Instagram filter or whatever, you need to think about that first so that you can deliver on that. And that way, like, it's going to make people click. You know, it, you might think that it's clickbait, but like you're actually delivering on something that's really cool. Yeah, I love that. Well, Jake, this has been an amazingly powerful episode. How can people connect with you and Creator Hooks? And of course, we'll link everything up in the show notes. Yeah, go uh, go sign up for the newsletter at creatorhooks.com. Uh, when you sign up, you'll get a free ebook, uh, The 10 Viral Video Elements. Um, and that's the best way to keep up, uh, keep up with me. Also on Twitter at jthomas underscore underscore. And I also highly recommend if you check out Nolan's video, uh, he really kind of took some of Jake's tweet uh, tweets, Jake's tweets, and uh, turned them into a really video kind of educating on that stuff. It's been cool to see how well that video is doing. So thanks so much for sharing this valuable content and really helping creators. Yeah, thank you, Sean. Are you ready to start or grow your YouTube channel? Do you feel stuck and need help connecting the dots? Join this free web class where you'll learn the step-by-step -step playbook for YouTube success. We've helped thousands of purpose-driven entrepreneurs just like you grow their influence with video. Register today for this exclusive training at thinkmasterclass.com.